In today's video, I'm just going to show you very quickly a junk journal I made for my sister for her birthday. So as I turn it on its side, I have this little chain here. There is a little charm that says create and then it has her name, Sherry, then her last name, initial, B, here, then a little charm that says made with love, and then a little charm that says sisters. So it just dangles. Then the front of the album is with all kinds of flowers and butterflies this is some glass beads that I glued in there. I took a lot of the white flowers and colored them with soft suede ink. Here's some of our embellishments from previous catalogs. These are just little bitty styrofoam balls that I glued. This is wooden elements here right there right there little wood wooden elements that i tore in half some oh i don't know what that is called it's a yarn that people use to make a dishcloth a little butterfly and then i closed it with just some material some ribbon now if I was going to do this again, I would make another signature because you can see it is very chunky. I put two signatures in it. I should have put three in there. I couldn't stop. This thing is addicting to do this. It's so much fun. Now she is also a paper crafter and a cross stitcher. So I made this in the idea that I would include a lot of things that she would also be able to use in her crafting. So I took a cross stitch book that I found at our local um, Deseret Industries. I think it cost me a dollar. So a lot of the paper in this book is using uh, from that book. And then just there's some patterns of cross stitches here. I made everything. I made the envelope. This has just a little topper in the front here. The back paper, all the paper I did coffee staining it. A lot of these are from our Stamping Up products. And this little envelope, I'm not going to pull it out. It's all kinds of cutouts and die cuts of fish and sea creatures and things like that. Again, this is cross-stitched pattern. Uh, the fact that I have more clothes to sleep in than I do to go out in says a lot about me as a person. Oh yeah, for sure. This is just a little pocket here. She'll be able to put something in. I did fill a lot of the pockets, but some of them I left blank. This is just some cardstock that she'll be able to use. This is a little envelope that I made with all kinds of ephemera in it. There's a couple of tags here. And then there's a tag that slips in there. And then this little embellishment is a little postcard and it says I love you so it's just dangling there she has cats this I used a pattern a dress pattern it's got some rulers in here out of paper that she'll be able to use this is I took from a hymn book and again she will be able to use all of this paper when she begins to craft with any kind of a junk journal. Get that in there. 
Then I just put some of the names of hymns, glued them here, uh, doily there. This was from one of our paper pumpkin kits. This, I did do a video on these clips here, paper clips, and it again is just using the hem. She sent me this for my birthday. She sent me a bunch of, of things for me to craft, so I distressed it with soft suede and put it in her book and then cut out some papers for her to be able to use. Again, this is another one of those paper clip. Oh, this I did. Oh, now I realize I did this with um, a magnet because I feel it uh, snap. It could be a bookmark. Um, this is from Stampin' Up. Love it. Love what you do. And she does, and I do too. I did a... I think that's a stencil there. Again, another little cross-stitch pattern. This is material that I had in my stash. I'm also a quilter. I made a little pocket out of that, and then I die cut a bunch of greenery, so she'll be able to use that. And I also stamped that back part, I think, with um, Mossy Meadow. Again, another pattern of cross-stitching. Then this here is a little topper that I bought that she'll be able to use. I made the envelope. She sent me this piece here, and again, I distressed it, and I stuck a little frame in there, a wooden frame that she'll be able to use. I made this envelope, and I just put some tickets in here in a little bag. And over here, this is a fold out and it folds out. So the first one has um, Happy Birthday. Oh, Happy New Year's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. These are all little die cuts for holidays. Uh, this is probably Happy Father's Day and Happy Mother's Day. I have Happy Birthday in here. This is a little tuck pocket here. Happy Mother's Day there. And then this folds back. Happy, th or it says Thanksgiving there, Thanksgiving Day. This is some Stampin' Up! Retired Stamps. Here's another one of those paper clip. And it's her birthday. This is for her birthday. So I think I showed this in the video. When I made this, I showed this page. She knew it was going to be for her birthday because this is the date of her birthday. She goes, oh, I knew that was for me. Then this is just a little pocket with a little, oh, ephemera that she'll be able to use. Again, these are from our Stampin' Up! Heart Punches. This is just a little chain that I had purchased elsewhere. And then I just kind of did like a belly band with some ribbon. This is a retired, I think this was a celebration stamp. And I made this little basket and it's got all these little hearts. So she'll be able to also make one of those tags over there. This is from another video tutorial I had done at some point. These dresses here. And I used a pattern to make the pocket and then I also stuck in some of our uh, designer series paper so she'll be able to use that. I covered it with a doily. A couple of pages I didn't put anything on. I mean it was getting so <laughs> thick. I had to like restrain myself. This is so much fun. Oh you guys you have got to try it. And look at my hands from dyeing all this paper and oh it's so much fun anyway another uh paper clip there uh i this is from press i think it's press petals again i just put in some paper there and then i also glued on here 
the color so she'd be able to know what to what color to use. This was out of a gardening book and I just distressed it. This was a little topper that I bought elsewhere. I had also, this is some lace that I bought probably 35 years ago in France and I still have some of it. And so I used that. Then this little pocket here, it says lift here and inside there is a little, ooh, if I can get it out, a little charm. That's a bicycle. Should be able to use that. Again, some Stamping Up Designer Series paper. I made this little pocket here. Then this is a metal thing that I sewed on here. It says live in the moment. Again, this is some of our retired vellum from Stampin' Up! And I colored it. She's been crafting for something like, I don't know, 25 years. She is fantastic. A uh, little key there. This is just some doilies here she'll be able to use. This is from Very Versailles stamp set. This is some butterflies that were from, I think it was a celebration that you got free. So I die cut a bunch of those out. This little uh, petals here are from the area uh, for weddings. And I just glued some of those there. Some washi tape here. This is stamping up washi tape. Again, this is from the gardening book and a little wooden element. And then I glued some ribbon here, fabric. If you don't have this product, fabric tack for using fabric, you are missing out. This stuff is fantastic. And I don't know where the lid is. I can't find it. So I had to put some uh, plastic paper over there to keep it from drying out. These are just some little uh, glue dots there. It, again, this is just a little pocket, empty pocket that she'll be able to put something in. Again, some stamping up stuff. And I made some of these from the Post-it From You paper clips. And she'll be able to color those the way she wants to color them. So I just inked them up and she, she can color them how she wants to. I shouldn't take things off. It takes too long to get it back in. Hang on. I'll get it. There we go. <laughs> uh oh. I maybe spoke too soon. I want to put it in, back in because I might forget where it goes. Okay. Moving on. Oh, this is a paper clip that I bought somewhere. And I put this like little sign slide me so she can remember pull that off little envelope using tracing paper that i die cut and then this is just some vellum the thing about junk journals is you don't have to be perfect which is very difficult for me to do but i i stamped this after it was full and you don't get a very good stamp so or image but I'm like it's a junk journal don't worry about it um again a little pattern from uh that cross stitch book this here is everything that I die cut out that says happy birthday uh granny apple green and blushing bride these little happy birthday things were I think I got them at our Dollar Tree. Everything says happy birthday. There's also some plain ones that she'll be able to color the way she wants to. This is a little pocket with, again, some of that thread that I used on the front, some of the lace, and some of the um, material I had used. Again, she'll be able to use it, and then I just glued some fabric down here. 
Oh, this was fun to make. So this opens up like it is, oh, maybe a closet, you can say. But you open it up, and inside is three stamped images. And when I showed her this stamp, she says, oh, my gosh, you've got to send me some of those stamps. Uh, images. I love that. That's so fun. So I'm not going to tie that back up, but I stamped the inside with our scripty stamp, which I believe is retired. Oh, this was so much fun to make. I love scene building cards. Now, if you look real close, I'm going to hold it up. The back panel here is is embossed to make it look like a room. I cut out some of this paper that was not embossed and glued it in there. Like I said, she has a cat. I'm gonna put this down because otherwise it'll jiggle and make you guys maybe sick. So there's a cat there. Uh, here's some of our designer series paper. Then I also included in here some of the die cuts that I use so she can have it for her own use. This is some of our word, uh, wood grain paper. I added a little lace back here. Again, some of our designer series paper. This was from our, uh, very, I think it's Varied Vases. Oh, I just love that. I love scene building cards. Here, this is funny. She said, that's a lot of money to spend on crafts. And I knew we couldn't be friends. <laughs> Again, just some tags that she'll be able to use. Uh, don't take things out there, Hewitt. Okay, there it's in. Uh, let's see here. This is, again, just a little envelope with a um, ruler that I stuck on there. I made the envelope and this all has to do with dressmaking or sewing. She'll be able to use that. I showed this in my video tutorial. This is using the memories and more card pack, celebrate. This has, oh, everything that has to do with uh, wood. And again, a lot of this is our stamping up stuff and a lot of it is retired but a staircase chairs tables a fence all kinds of stuff and then i put on here the year 2020 and some of our wooden embellishments handcrafted just for you this is everything that has to do with halloween and i'm not going to take it out but there's some sequins in here with pumpkins there's some fall looking sequins in here this is again some of our previous our retired uh, die cuts uh, I think we still have that cat there this is material um, designer series paper from a previous release uh, last Halloween I think that says Halloween there. And then I made this pocket by taking a napkin that was in my stash. And I might do a video on how to do that because it, it's just the napkin glued on. Then this is just a five by seven envelope that I glued on here, distressed it a little bit. I made these glassine envelopes that she'll be able to use. This is just a little pocket with some paper that, she, again, she'll use. This I found, again, at our uh, Deseret Industries, which is like a Goodwill that is located in, oh, I think it's Salt Lake, Arizona, you know, several places run by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. But I picked up a whole pack of these, and I think they were a dollar. Then this has everything to do with Christmas. Again, I took some of the hymns. I'm not going to pull it out. 
and distress them with some napkins over the top. That made a little pocket. This here is a little pocket with all kinds of die cuts that have to do with Christmas villages and Merry Christmas and just tons of stuff. I tell you, I think she's going to really enjoy this gift. And then on the very last page, this album was created for you, my sister, Sherry Lynn Hewitt Barncastle, for your birthday. I hope you enjoy going through it as much as I did making it. Love, Eva Wanette Hewitt, and my nickname growing up was Nepti, and July 2020. So I hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough for this album. I'm going to pack it up and get it in the mail to her today. If you would like for me to show you how to do some of this stuff, I would be more than happy to. Oh, and again, the book itself, I had bought the book at DI, Deseret Industries. I cut out all the paper and then I covered the book with, again, some material I had using the Fabri-Tac glue, and it makes for a very sturdy book. But like I said, if I was to do it again, I would put a second, or a, I mean, a, a third signature in there. Anyway, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little walkthrough through this uh, junk journal for my sister, and I will see you again soon. Bye.